If you've ever played EO2 Storm Evic before, you would know that it's one of the best World War II fighter plane simulators out there. Wouldn't it be awesome if you could play it in virtual reality? Well everybody, now you can. As of April 2017, actually there's native VR support that came to EO2 Storm Evic, Battle of Stalingrad and all of its related expansions. Hey there everybody, I'm Reload and I'll be playing EO2 Storm Evic in VR but with a very special twist. Right now there's native support for any virtual reality headset that's compatible with Steam VR. So even if you don't have the game through Steam, like I don't myself I actually have the standalone version of EO2 Storm Evic, but you can still play the game in VR as long as you install Steam VR and go through the setup procedures. But if you play the game, if you have it already and you're curious to see what it actually looks like in virtual reality, all you really need is a Google Cardboard and a smartphone. Virich is an awesome app that lets you simulate VR headsets using just your smartphone. It's very easy to install and I've done a few videos on it before. I will mention them at the end of my video. But for now, let's take to the skies in a World War II airplane in virtual reality on our smartphone. Hey, 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 check it out. We are in the hangar of Il Tushturmavik. Let's do it. So, by the way, you can see right now the, the quality, the quality of the text is not the best, but this is because of several things. First of all, I have to downscale to 720p because otherwise my phone just can't handle it. I don't have the best phone available, but it certainly works. Uh, besides that, you can do a few things. You can increase the Mbps to send a more high quality image to your phone once again my phone can handle that um, and you can also upscale you can do um, a bit of a scaling thing that will improve the quality of text i'm pretty sure the text will be good but regardless let's go ahead let's put on the headset and let's fly a plane whoa oh, i'm being shot at here i am being totally shot at here Let's try to speed up. Oh, there's a bullet hole. <laughs> you see that, guys? There is a bullet hole right there. And uh, yeah, the friends have just joined the game. That's all right. There's a few bullet holes. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I'm laughing, but pretty sure I am going to die rather fast here. And I am being shot left and right. I don't even know where it's coming from. I suppose I could look around. Oh, there they are. Okay, I see them. Off we go. Let's go up. Towards the, the sun. Here we go. Climbing, climbing, climbing. Okay, I'm pretty sure my health is... Whoa! Am I stalling? Oh no, I, I have stalled. <laughs> I have flew, I've flown too far, too fast. Whee! Oh, I am in a total free spin here. Oh, it's not gonna end well. This is not going to end well. <laughs> oh yeah, that's my, uh, you know what? Honestly, this is my first virtual reality combat experience in a World War II fighter pl plane. I didn't do too well. I totally did not do too well. <laughs> so everybody, that was Evil 2 Sturmavik in VR on a smartphone and Google Cardboard type setup thanks to Rivcat Virage. So if you have this game and are very curious to see what it's like in virtual reality, you don't really need an expensive headset. All you need is a compatible smartphone and you're good to go. Thank you so much for watching everybody. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like it and please subscribe for more VR gameplay by clicking the button down below. I'm Reload and I'll see you in my next video. Oh wow, I never knew you could have this setting. So I just randomly changed the camera of my plane and now I can see my plane from... Oh, this is so cool and I can actually look down, left, I mean right, <laughs> left. This is a... Uh, that's pretty cool.